Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone and we continue with football. 2022 Ballon d'Or winner Karim Benzema could be in line for a shock return to Qatar to play for France in the World Cup final against Argentina on Sunday. The 34-year-old was expected to be out for three weeks after suffering a thigh injury the day before the World Cup kicked off. Benzema returned to Spain for rehabilitation and has reportedly recovered fully. It's understood Real Madrid are happy for him to return and help France at the tournament. France's head coach Didier Deschamps remained coy when asked whether Benzema would return to the squad for the final. In the wake of the semi-final win over Morocco, Deschamps told reporters that he prefers not to answer when asked of the possibility of Benzema rejoining his squad. Our football analyst Brent Sancho is on Zoom and he joins us now. Brent, welcome. Thanks, Maria. Well, Benzema has struggled for fitness this season and he last played competitively on November 2. Do you see him returning to the French squad for Sunday's game or not any game? The big, big final. <laughs> no, I, I don't see it. I, it doesn't make sense, I think, for, for team chemistry, team morale. If I was in the Champs, I'd stay clear of it. It, it does not uh, bode well. You have a squad of players that would have gotten you to this point so far. Uh, you bring in a Kareem Benzema, albeit talented, maybe the, the most disciplined and best behaved player, and may just slide into the team. But the team chemistry and dynamics that would have gotten them to the finals will certainly come into question. There, there are a lot of players that would have played roles. Uh, we did talk about the France team that even in this, even coming into the World Cup, had their injury crisis, and even being in the World Cup, had some suspensions and injuries, uh, and they would have utilized most of the squad. I think if you bring a Benzema in now, uh, it would certainly start to question, uh, of course, uh, the team chemistry that they would have built throughout the tournament. Yeah, missing so many key players and still making it to the final speaks about the depth of this France team. And not just any players, of course, major um, game changers they missed. And of course, they still got the job done. Brent, you know, in my introduction, I spoke about um, bringing Karim Benzema in to help the team's chances. But now I'm wondering if I should ask you, do you think him coming in could possibly hurt the team chances? It, it would it, look. It would hurt from a team chemistry, as I said, from a, from that perspective. Because at the end of the day, a, it, a team has its dynamics. It, it has, uh, a, of course, a camaraderie within the squad. Players would have would have fought hard to get to get their position and into the squad, starting or otherwise in pecking order as it relates to pecking order. If you bring someone in now, you're suggesting to the rest of the players that the work that they would have done throughout in this World Cup building up to this uh, would have gone for nothing. Uh, and I think that is too risky because you, you don't want to risk that. You don't want to break team morale. Football is a team sport. The last thing you want to do uh, is break team morale. There may be players who see it as, yeah, he may help us, but there would be one or two within that may be grouping or griping and suggesting that why is he coming in now at the end when we have reached to the final point to try and raise glory with us. So... It's, it's a, it's, look, we talk a lot about dynamics and team chemistry and how important it is. And I think it's way too important. Uh, and, and it's more important than, of course, bringing in a player, uh, who, again, who's, whose last game was in November, who you but, think may help you here. But Brent, a player, someone, and I've just chosen a few words that you said just now. This is not any player. This is Karim Benzema, who won Champions League for his team. So I'm just here like, are we being unfair to him as well? No, listen, team, football, as I said, dynamics, and, and anyone that's been in a locker room would tell you, the team dynamics is more important than any individual. Uh, and I've seen many times where an individual has come in uh, and has caused the team and their dynamics to suffer. And I think if you are Didier Deschamps, you have to mitigate that fact. You have to look at that and think, that was not worth it. That may, not, that may play against, of course, everything that is needed for him to get across the line against Argentina. Uh, you would need all 11-plus uh, uh, members of the squad to be pulling in the same direction. I think if you try to bring something in now, it may just upset the apple cart. I know we may feel that bringing him in and he may score a last-minute goal or do something spectacular, but I don't think it's worth it. It really isn't. Not, for, not to suffer the team dynamics. Brent, I want to I I I challenge you on that, and I want to I I convince you and encourage you to change your mind with this reasoning. Remember that this is one of the few situations in football at this level where a player gets injured before the tournament starts and is kept as part of the roster. 
The fact that France kept Benzema registered as one of the 26 players to play at the World Cup in Qatar, when they could have easily, like most teams do when they have a player who's injured before the start of the tournament, replace that player. I mean, it's France we're talking about. They're not short of bodies to have filled that 26th place. But they kept him in the team. That, to me, suggested that they knew all along, based on the conversation with their medical team, that there was a possibility he could return at a later stage. And given that they kept the space open, and, and, I am, and, I am, and I am invited to draw the conclusion I've just drawn because of the fact that they kept him as part of the registered team. When the medals are handed out, whether it's a second place medal they win or a first place medal they win, one medal will have the name K. Benzema on it, right? Okay, good. Given that they kept the space open for him because they felt he would come back later in the tournament, I'm assuming that France would have prepared the players for Benzema's return to say, gentlemen, he could return, so we're keeping him on the thing. So if you see him turn up, I mean, it's, 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 it's part of the plan and we have kept him in the squad. And so his return, no, at the climactic moment of the World Cup, is not a strange one and is not one that Didier Deschamps and the team management will have to condition the players for because the players would have known from November 17, well, November, the World Cup kicked off on November 20. 20. November 19, the date was announced that he would have been injured. They knew from then that it was a possibility that the Big Benz could come back. And no, I don't expect him to come back and start because as you rightly correct, as you correctly identified, he's not played since November. But at this stage of the game, I mean, you, you, you don't need much to get you back to be able to contribute. So I expect him to be able to contribute, to be held in trust, held in, on, in an emergency situation, if that calls for. And with that kind of reasoning now on the table, my, my, my friend, I'm inviting you to see it the other way and to see this as part of a well-made plan by France who could easily and simply have replaced him but chose not to because they felt he would be back for later in the tournament. Well, let me, let me answer your, your first point. When he was first injured, it was believed he could have come back in the knockout stage, the early knockout stages, as soon as it was happened. Once he started his rehab, the injury went on. Like most rehabs, sometimes it could go very south, and it did go south for him. So the injury prognosis went from uh, maybe one or two games in the group stages to possibly the entire tournament. Uh, and I think as much as I, I hear what you're saying about leaving a spot open, this is the World Cup Finals, and I think within the World Cup Finals, every little itch, and, and look, the whole entire World Cup that we've watched so far dealt with inches, yards, and small errors and margins to victory. And I just think if you're Didier Deschamps, I hear what you're saying in terms of what Benzema brings to the squad, I just feel that the dynamics of it, you just don't want to but, touch. But hold because on, on the point of the dynamics, on the point of the on, on the point of the uh, yeah, but on the point that, in that locker room yeah, but, to, to, be, to say something. But, but hold on, 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 the, on the point of the dynamics, though. Let's, let's deal with that. Because, again, I'm saying to you that this was a, a, a well-made plan. Often we criticize team management for not planning and lacking foresight. It was discussed at the start that it was a possibility that he could return. Let's keep him as part of this club. Because, because as, I said to, as I've said to you, and you know very well, of course, he will get a medal on Sunday. It will be gold or silver, depending on what France, do, what, what, what happens in the game. So he's guaranteed that. I'm saying that nobody expects him to walk back into the starting eleven, And I can guarantee that if he's selected, if, he, if he's brought back, he won't start. I struggle to think of any player who will, if two scenarios, France is winning the game. And Benzema gets introduced as one of the five substitutes. I hate to, I, I struggle to think of any of the French players who will begrudge him an introduction in that scenario. Second scenario, France is losing the game. And Didier Deschamps turns, turns to him as one of the five substitutes and asks him to go and rescue the game for his country. I struggle to think of any one of those professionals who's going to say, I can't believe that he chose Benzema to come on off the, off, off the bench to help rescue the team. So I'm saying this is a cleverly and very well laid plan. Didier Deschamps now has the option and he may or may choose not to activate the option but i want to congratulate the french team for planning this way for giving themselves the option of calling on arguably the best number nine operating in world football today and i'm saying Brent sancho that i think we shouldn't rule out 
the wisdom in bringing him back and having, having him as part of the collective because whether or not he was there in body in Qatar, he would still be among those who would be given medals for participation in Qatar 2022. I agree with the option, but again, to put context, the option was viewed as coming out of the knockout, into the knockout stages, right after the group stages. As I said, during his injury, it would have extended beyond. I think the, the horse has left the stable, and that's my point. I think if you were looking at right after the group stages, George, I may entertain the conversation. But I think when you look at a final, the last game of the World Cup, you'd have problems. As much as you think players may not want to be, I actually disagree. There's always going to be someone in that locker room that's going to look at it but and Brent. suggest that it's not, it's, it, what, what, why is he in here? Brent. Brent, it should be me or whatever. You know, players, Brent, modern day players look at things but Brent, that way. But Brent, I'm and, and saying that's probably that's why I would not. I, I, but, it's just I hear what you're saying, but I would not. But Brent, it's just such small margins. I wouldn't touch it. But Brent, again, remember, this is not a man who's taking Mbappe's starting place. This is not a man who's taking Giroud's starting place. He's coming off the bench as one of the options. Are you saying that there are players who will stew that Karim Benzema? He's sitting on the bench like them, and if the game needs it, he is likely to come on. And even so, even so, players are unhappy about many things. The good thing about this French squad, the egos that ruined the South Africa World Cup for them when Anelka and Evra and others led that strike when Raymond Dominic was in charge, that's not this French team. This French collective is different. And I'm saying the fact that this would have been explained to them at the start, Brent, and you have to work with me here, that they were told that, gentlemen, we've kept the spot open because Karim may come back to help us. And I don't know anybody in the French team would say, well, you know what? If our chances of winning the World Cup are bolstered by his return, we would rather lose without him as part of the collective than to have him as an option. I'm saying from that perspective, it seems a sensible decision, uh, situation uh, for me for coach Didier Deschamps to say, OK, come and sit on the bench. I'll use you if I need to. The coach has the option. It's a very good option to have. I think he'd be wise to use that option, Mr. Sancho. Yeah, but George, that's, that's, that's the perspective that you're taking. We don't know the perspective. We don't know for a fact what was said to the French squad. We don't know, as I said, the, the injury first said that we'll be back right after the group stages. What rent? We have no idea what was said. What rent? My point is, at the end of the day, if I was a manager, I wouldn't touch it because it could go either way. I hear what you're saying. Brent, Brent, you don't Brent, know what was said. Brent, Brent, so you, you could go either left or right. Why not, would you make such a big decision Brent, that could have an impact it's not, on how your team performs. Brent, it's not the same thing. But let me ask you this. Mm. We are presenting the, the World Cup. I was going to say Olympics. We're presenting the World Cup. I'm slated to be the lead anchor of the World Cup coverage. I have, you are on my team, of course, as my star analyst and Arango and the usual guys. Yeah? Something happens and I can't start the tournament. And somebody comes in and is leading. One of the able guys we have here leading the thing. And for the final, they say, okay, he's well and he's available. And there's a meeting to say, well, do we bring him back and ask him to present a part of the coverage or just to have him here around the team? And someone says, no, but it's going to disrupt chemistry. And guys may feel like he wasn't here at the start, so why bring him in? No, I'm sure you wouldn't say, you know what, leave Georgie out. I'm saying, Brent Sancho. There are 26... That's a different, that's a hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Mariah made the point. Brent, 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 Mariah made the point. Brent, Mariah made the point to you. We're not talking about Joe Blow. We're not talking about an ordinary player. And we're talking about a French team where the strength is also in the collective. Adrian Rabio, the man who refused to be a part of the pre-tournament training squad at the last World Cup, has humbled himself and is now one of the leading lights for France. If he can be humble, anybody can be humble. I'm saying to you that I think Deschamps would be wise to exercise this option and keep Mr. Benzema in a glass case like a fire extinguisher break glass in case of emergency, he would be wise to have that option, that card to trump in Sunday's final. Yeah, but again, we, we are speculating. And that's my point. We don't know what has been said in the squad. You know, I want to add another piece to this to this jigsaw as well. You know, I listened to Julian Laurent, uh, of course, uh, the famous French uh, reporter on football, 
And he mentioned that the, the English translation to what was said by Didier Deschamps is incorrect. He's saying that basically Didier Deschamps chased the question out of the room. Because as far as he's concerned, it's a non-starter. They don't see it from where the French journalists and within France as even a possibility. And it goes back to that same question of chemistry. Do you tempt faith by going down that road? And I think that's that's where I am at. I hear what you're saying. And it has nothing to do with the player's ability and capability. I just think that the team dynamics, I hear what you're saying about the possibility of the team dynamics, but we're not there and I'm not sure how 100% it is. My point is, I just don't think it's the right time and place to even tempt faith. That's, what I'm, that's where I'm coming from because I don't have the fullness of what is going on within the French camp. So from where I sit, don't tempt faith. Don't cross the line because seemingly, if, if of course, Julien Laurence is suggesting that Didier Deschamps is not even entertaining the question, that means that there's some way along the line of understanding that it does not make sense to bring him back in the squad. I hear maybe if I was coaching or managing Trinidad, I may look at it differently, but I just feel that, and, and again, that because I would have the entirety of the story, but I go back to the fact that this was not a long-term injury. This was supposed to be him coming back in the round of 16, I believe, and it didn't happen. So maybe that's when the door was shut for Karim Benzema, and now that he's fit in the final, the door was already shut back then. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm working. I want all my best tools. I hear you on that, my friend. Yeah, Brian. Yeah. yeah, that's friend, it. Yeah, friend. Thank you so much. We'll chat again soon. I'll see you in Trini. <laughs> it is definitely, Brian. Right. Take care, guys. All right. You know the, the key here before we wrap the segment though is that um, Benzema is a goal scorer. That's what he does. France scored seven goals in their three knockout games. They scored six goals in their three group stages. So they have been getting the goals, and uh, I think that the coach should be comfortable with what he has. I would say that for anybody, there, except man like Karim Benzema. There, there is no way I'm going into the biggest game without all the tools that are at my disposal. Absolutely no way. No way. <laughs> all right, let's take a break now. <laughs>